okay so we were discussing about how fakka is gradually developing and uh, for the all the practical condition we have to consider shiraja fakka is basically a disease of the infancy whereas feeding is the basic cause okay main cause is feeding whereas garbhaja fakka should be consider all the other causes like antenatal causes prenatal causes perinatal causes then uh, high risk pregnancy intrauterine infections then uh, iugrs and even even the poor spacing even the poor spacing of the child should be considered as a major cause for this particular garbhaja fakka okay then all the other disorders fakka because of different disorders like uh, different conditions because of different traumas chronic disorders should be considered under vyadija fakka let us have one minute gap i am coming so now this being the case uh so if you look into this particular slide the comparative analysis of failure to thrive and as well as fakkatwa or fakka then the most of the things will be very clear uh improper feeding nutritional problems there is no utilization of the problem okay nidhana like kshira garbha vyadi etc so this is explained in terms of fakka roga or fakka condition and almost all same things are also explained in ftt if you look at the big list of ftt then same there are some issues related to the feeding some issues related to the nutrition caloric insufficiency is there over utilization of the calorie no utilization okay then different disorders then pregnancy related causes everything endocrinal causes metabolic causes everything is explained in the ftt also almost all same is explained in our science also under the heading of fakatwa when he says of course he is not mentioned individual disorders vyadis he is mentioned nijagantuja different types of nijavyadi and different types of agantuja vyadis and if you see tissue depletion tissue depletion tissue depletion is in case of ftt that is a basic issue there and tissue depletion is also seen in case of fakarova okay because they say is that balamamsa kshaya kshirna mamsa baladyuti okay so this is nothing but tissue def deflation then comes agni metabolic power metabolic digestive power and metabolic activities so that is also definitely disturbed in case of ftt and ayurveda in the fakaroga also it is very clearly mentioned pradushta grani kasha so that is disturbed there is disturbed metabolism dhatu agni mandya disturbed cellular metabolism has been explained similarly if you talk about caloric deficit caloric deficit uh in terms of caloric deficit if you see different words are explained in fakaroga if you see at some areas he mentioned the word kshaya sometime he mentions the word kshata sometime he mentioned the word bahu vyadi etc okay so all these things so that explains that there is a generalized emaciation of the child so what is the meaning of these different words that also we will see in the next slides okay so now you go into the next slide this part we have already covered now we come to the kshiraja fakka what exactly kshiraja fakka is धात्री श्लेष्मिक दुग्धा तो फक्क दुग्धे संयता तत् क्षीरपो बहु व्याधि काश्या फक्वत्व आपनियात ओके सो नंबर वन इज दिस इज ए क्रॉनिक डिसऑर्डर्स इफ यू सी द लास्ट टू वर्ड्स तत् क्षीरपो लास्ट लाइन ऑफ द श्लोक लास्ट लाइन ऑफ द श्लोक इफ यू सी तत् क्षीरपो बहु व्याधि काश्या फक्वत्व आपनियात बहु व्याधि then karshatva then fakkatva 
So these are the three successive stages. Meaning of all the three words is different. Bahuvyadi is immunocompromised stage. Child is vulnerable to different disorders. Karshyata, immunocompromisation lead into emaciation. Next, emaciation lead into fakkatva. Fakkatva may be cachexia or some other uh, more worsened condition. Okay? And if you see the first line, Dhatri shleshmika dugdhatu fakka dugdhati samjitaha. The basic problem is with Dhatri dugdha. Okay? That means mother's milk. As the mother milk is the main food in the first year of the life, hence it is called Kshira Pavastha, any problem related to mother's milk or any alternative milk or improper way of feeding, abnormal techniques of feeding, mechanical or some of the functional disturbances in the feeding, like mechanical problems like uh, cleft lip, cleft palate, functional problems like uh, some of the psychological disorders of the mother, etc. All these conditions lead to this problem. Bahuvyadi, then Karshnya, then Fakkatva. Okay. But majorly they mentioned that Dhatri Sleshvika Dugda too. That means Kafaja Dugda. If Kafaja Dugda is get affected, that means if the breast milk is get affected by Kafa Dosha, Kafa Dosha, then majorly it leads to Fakka Dugdeti Samjitaha. It is also called as Fakka Dugda. See, reason is Kafa basically having Guru, Sthira and Katina properties and this Guru, Gurutva, Sthiratva and Katinatva to the body is given by the Kafa, no doubt. And in the milk, if you are talking, in the breast milk, so this can be compared to that component of the body which is responsible for, that particular component of the breast milk which is responsible for giving Sthiratva, Sthidhatva and Katinatva and Gurutva to the body. In other words to say, this is the one important factor which increases the body weight. Isn't it? Vata is not basically increasing the body weight. Pitta is not increasing the body weight. Rather, it is doing the metabolic functions properly. The end product formed is always Kapha. End product is always Kapha product. So now, what are the components of the breast milk or any milk which is present, which is responsible for increasing the body weight and giving the Stiratva and giving in a immune balanced state, either proteins or fats. Carbohydrates are only used for the purpose of energy. Proteins are used for the purpose of bodybuilding and fat is the one which gets stored and increases the body, body weight. We know that when you are feeding the mother or feeding the baby also, mother should know the importance of the fore milk, mid milk and hind milk. Mid milk and hind milk, these are the two important milk which contains protein and as well as fat. Unless and until mother is providing this mid milk and hind milk to the baby, it is unlikely that the weight of the baby will go into increase. That's clear. Okay. Suppose if you are giving only carbohydrate rich food, for the practical purpose we can take as vataja dugda or vataja component which is present in the breast milk. Okay. So then baby's weight will not increase because carbohydrate will never do the work of storage. Okay, so they are for daily maintenance of the energy. They provide the energy. Baby will be active. Such a baby is active, doing all the activities, everything is fine, but weight is not increasing. Anyway, so Kshira is the main cause in the Kshira papirate. So two types of the Kshira can be seen. One is either breast milk or artificial milk. Now again, if the breast milk is not available, what Ayurveda says is you go for Dhatri's milk. The second option, if the breast milk is not available, according to Ayurveda, is Dhatri milk. But in the contemporary medical sense, if the breast milk is not available, then you go for either the artificial milk or animal milk. That is the beauty of Ayurveda. Okay. Now, because breast milk follows a very important principle, that is breast milk is baby specific and breast milk is species specific. Breast milk is baby specific and breast milk is also species specific. Baby specific means if the mother deliver a preterm baby, then the breast milk produced by that mother is composed in such a way that it is very good for the preterm baby. In the preterm baby, we want more proteins, less fat because it is not able to digest and such things. If the, if the mother is delivering a normal baby, then breast milk produced by that mother is suitable for the normal baby. If the breast milk is uh, breast milk produced in the postterm mother is suitable for the postterm baby. This is called as breast milk is baby specific. 
ब्रेस्ट मिल्क इज बेबी स्पेसिफिक सिमिलरली ब्रेस्ट मिल्क इज स्पीसी स्पेसिफिक ह्यूमन ब्रेस्ट मिल्क इज बेस्ट फॉर ह्यूमन बेबीज काउस मिल्क इज बेस्ट फॉर बेबी ऑफ द खाओ इट इज अ डिफरेंट स्पीसीज गोट्स मिल्क इज बेस्ट फॉर द बेबी ऑफ द गोट इट इज स्पीसी स्पेसिफिक देर फॉर आयुर्वेद सेज दैट बिफोर ट्राइंग एन आर्टिफिशियल मिल्क और बिफोर ट्राइंग एन मिल्क प्रोड्यूस बाय द अदर स्पीसीज ऑलवेज ट्राई विद द सेम स्पीसीज नाउ इफ इंस्टेड ऑफ द मदर इज नॉट अवेलेबल सपोज एंड इफ यू गिव द दात्रिस मिल्क then at least you are fulfilling the criteria of a species specific nature of the breast milk baby is getting the milk from the same species cow's milk is not species specific okay we have to do arrangements or alteration in the cow's milk we have to dilute it we have to add some proteins we have to uh, add some fat etc otherwise it will not be constituted to the level of a human breast milk but if you provide dathris milk it is fulfilling the fulfilling the criteria of a species specific nature of the breast milk that is the beauty of ayurveda so anyway two types of the kshira are present one is breast milk or artificial milk according to contemporary science okay now breast milk is suppose if the problems are there with the breast milk fakka dugdheti samjita ha datri shleshmika dugda the breast milk which is vitiated by the kapha dosha in a mother feeding mother it is considered as a fakka dugda also ओके नो वीशेटेड ब्रेस्ट मिल्क फक्क दुग्धा नो वी नो दैट स्तन्या इट इज अ उपधातु ऑफ रस धातु इज इट इट स्तन्या इज अ उपधातु ऑफ रस धातु सो रस धातु इज प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम द आहार रस सो दैट मींस इफ आई से स्तन्या दुष्टि इज देयर इन द मदर डेफिनेटली देयर इज आल्सो रस भाषोत दुष्टि एंड देयर इज आल्सो सम प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू फूड देयर इज आल्सो सम प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू आहार so ahara may be qualitatively and quantitatively less rasa dhatu which is produced in the mother may be qualitatively and quantitatively less stanya which is produced is also qualitatively and quantitatively less so what it suggests basically is there are some metabolic errors there are some metabolic errors is taking place in the body of the mother as a result she is not able to produce the good milk and that milk which is deficient in so many micronutrients so many vitamins and all when consumed by the baby exclusively up to 6 month so baby will land up in different problems okay now there is one thing is there so when they fakka dugda it is stored that means vitiated by the kapha dosha see breast milk is having more kapha dosha breast milk is when i say breast milk is having more kapha dosha as a result it is vitiated it says that comparatively or relatively there is deficiency of the other two factors what is that vata and pitta so what i mean to say is suppose if i say breast milk is rich in fat so increase the amount of the fat in the breast milk relatively decrease the amount of the carbohydrate and proteins that is exactly when i say kapha is increased means the relatively there is less quantity and quality of the vata and pitta vata the 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 properties of the vata ja breast milk so that closely related to the carbohydrates and that of the pitta is related to the digestive digestive and metabolic capacity of the breast milk different immunological factors and uh, different uh, the enzymatic factors etc and proteins and as well as fat can be compared with the kapha dosha so when either kapha is increased more uh, more than the normal means fat is fat content in the breast milk is more than the normal and relatively the protein content and carbohydrate content in the breast milk provided to the baby is less okay so if the kapha is more more fat in the milk just for example we are taking okay if kapha is more there will be more fat in the milk with a relative decrease in the proteins and carbohydrates etc so this is one cause which may lead to fakkar okay now improper breast feeding and less nutritional and less quantity related issues are also there kshira jafakka may be also related to improper way of breast feeding we know that how to feed the baby okay only four milk is given no mid milk and hind milk is given again the baby will have the problem okay you have to feed with the proper feeding techniques most commonly mother says i am feeding but child is vomiting because she is not following the proper feeding techniques okay suppose if the mother is started with some other supplementary food also in the first year of the life how to give it 
how to try it okay so when to try the new food so these are some of the basic issues that we should know any error in such programming may also lead to the kshira jafaka okay now there are so many mechanical social occupational problems related to the feeding problem suppose mother is a office worker she is going to the office there is a big problem with the feeding see when mother is going to the office mother thinks that there is only problem in the feeding but the biggest problem is the problem is also there with the attachment emotional attachment attachment so this mother has to consider this part very seriously she may express the breast milk and keep in the refrigerator and then it can be given to the baby but it is not the issue issue is mechanical and uh, sorry issue is emotional attachment emotional attachment that is very important so you are expressing the breast milk keeping in the refrigerator giving to the baby by tube or something like that this cannot be a replacement for baby directly feeding the milk from the breast so that attachment itself is different that feeling itself is different when mother is feeding the baby baby is carefully watching the baby's uh, mother's eye that's the time where the maternal bonding is developing when mother is feeding the baby baby feels the baby get the feeling of security and protection so that cannot be provided that cannot be provided by merely by giving the breast milk express breast milk that's a different issue so these are also some of the biggest problem which may lead to the ftt okay so mechanical social and occupational problems related to the feeding issue so all such issues when considered together because of these errors because all the above explained errors there are many issues i have explained isn't it nutritional issues i have explained component wise i have explained okay some social issues i have mentioned mechanical issues mentioned because of all these things when there is a development of ftt and that should be called as a kshiraja fakka okay so all the shloka tells only two things datri shleshmika dugdatu fakka dugdete samjita ha tat kshira po bahu vyadi karshyat fakka tum apni hat because of all these things gradually child is going towards the emaciation how it develops beginning tat kshira po in the beginning bahu vyadi condition child growth chart falls down height and weight head circumference is not up to the mark child's growth is falling in the meantime the immuno compromised state occurs and child is now vulnerable to different disorders child may be vulnerable to different disorders okay that condition is mentioned as bahu vyadi in ayurveda okay immuno compromised state then when immuno compromised state continues and child is having recurrent infections and all then it leads to karshatva emaciation kshaya of the body is there when this also continue further then it leads to the stage of fakkatva child is not able to walk when fakkatva is also continued then lastly it goes to the stage of marana mriyate marana okay so this is exactly what you have to find now in kshira jafaka there is one more uh, problem that i missed is suppose if you are giving artificial milk okay so so far we have discussed about the breast milk and its complications and uh, feeding techniques and all suppose breast milk is not at all available datri milk is also not available or somebody uh, uh, advise the artificial milk or animal milk or artificial milk now there are two problems with one is over dilution another one is under dilution over dilution is also dangerous under dilution is also dangerous and more than that most of the time artificial milk will be given by bottle feeding and bottle is considered as biggest killer of the baby bottle is considered as biggest killer of the baby so these are some of the issues related to the kshira jafaka so so far now onwards whenever somebody says kshira jafaka then it should be very clear that this is a ftt like condition which is occurring during the time of the infancy and everything is related to kshira and feeding issues different types of feeding issues i hope you are very clear